Hi, this is Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. If you haven't already, will you please hit subscribe? Uh, today, I'm loading uh, 55 gallon drums of scrap metal. Now, today I wasn't actually able to film the loading of it, but I am going to talk on how to actually uh, put it on your trailer, how to strap it down and everything. Okay, what's actually in these cans are just pieces, little chunks of scrap metal. And what it is, I'm actually in a manufacturing plant in a uh, sub suburb of uh, Detroit, Michigan. And what they do is they'll take longer sections and cut it to whatever the buyer needs it to be. So these are just small scrap sections. You see, I've got uh, what, 13 pallets on here right now. I'm using straps. And this is how you do it without using boards. Now these cans here, a lot of times these cans will be scrapped just as well. That's the why they're using them. All you do is just put them up here a little bit. When the can just faintly starts bending, that's when it's tight enough. Everything's a circle, so you don't have to worry about your straps getting cut. So, it's not bad. Now this load, I do have to tarp because, well, it's winter time for one, and it possibly could rain even though that there is plastic wrap on top of this from the bottom nothing major but one thing is important when you're hauling anything that's round or actually even barrels for example you want to make sure you put a strap on the very bottom over top of the pallet because in the event of having an accident you do not want these to slide forward they are very very heavy it's like this one right here is 3200 pounds just for that one there um, these cans here are banned together, which makes it a lot nicer. Sometimes the companies do not. So in that aspect, you'll have to use more straps. But uh, with this right here on the front of the load, you just put two straps on it. The rest of them, where they're all banded together, you can use one strap. Just like the front, you want to do the back the same way. You want to make sure that you have uh, straps come around the back because you don't want anything working its way out. And when you put these straps on here like this, it pulls everything tight from the back and from the front. Here's what the load looks like from a side view. It's not bad. It's actually a pretty simple load. But like I said, I do have to tarp it. Now, if these containers would have had the lids on top of them, just because of the way they lock, I would roll felt down on top of the lids so they would not cut my tarps. But in this case, I don't have to. I'm rolling my tarp out. I thought I'd let you uh, see what I get to walk on here on the side. Basically, just a little rail. We don't fit too good in some areas so when you're actually going to tarp everything you have to be very very careful you fall off a trailer you can break a leg arm anything sometimes even die okay i've got the load pretty well taken care of now protected from the weather and tarp went on really easy yeah not really easy it's a heavy tarp but i got everything taken care of now it leads up to the question, what do you do when your tarp just isn't quite long enough? I mean, if I leave it like this, then air's going to get up underneath of it and balloon the tarp up. Yet, I need to have coverage on the back of the trailer so no water gets into the can. Now, I'll show you what you do. Okay, this is my small tarp, and it's only seven feet long. Now. The reason why I actually had this made up was, you see how long this tarp is? It's 24 feet long. So, would I really want to drag out another tarp that's 24 feet long, or drag one out that is only seven feet long and only weighs a few pounds, it's really simple to put away when the time comes, or do you want to, or would I want to 
have one that I weighs around 80 90 pounds and takes 10 minutes to pack to pack away everybody needs this if you don't have one get one make one just a really small part on these short loads that are like four feet high five feet high they are absolutely ideal and will make your life a lot easier the small tarp looks like right there's the same line as you see covers up what i need covered up it's got the flaps on the end it's great what else is great about this is not only do i use this for the front of the loads but there, sometimes i pick up objects that are only one pallet big and that's a whole entire load well do i want to drag out a large sharp or do i want to drag this one out got everything taken care of now this is the short tarp that I was telling you about as you can see it just saved me a lot of time and I don't have to roll up another one of these things uh, everything looks good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around here check everything out make sure my straps are good make sure everything's tight This is my back. Got the overhang here group. Everything looks good. Yeah, I think I'm ready to roll. Okay, I'm at the company. I went ahead and got everything unstrapped, untarped, everything like that. Um, I just talked to a guy and he said, well, today's Friday and there's no forklift driver here to unload me. So they're gonna have to find somebody else to, that can actually drive a forklift. That's what I get for showing up on my birthday. Yay. Well, an hour and a half later, and having to go through some buildings and search for people, I finally found one. So now I'm getting unloaded. Now, I can at this company here, but if you don't know how to drive a forklift, you really do need to learn how to drive one because some companies I do go to, it doesn't happen a lot, but forklift drivers don't show up to work. I've had it being, oh, they don't want to get outside because it's raining, it's too cold, whatever the case is. And uh, I've actually unloaded my own trailer and reloaded my own trailer. So it's either that or you sit there for half the day like I have today. This is going to take a long time. The forklift is taking a while to unload me. It's cold outside, so I'm going to hop back in the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. This is Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. I hope you enjoy the video, and please subscribe. Thank you.